Okay, let's have a go at uh, number 20 now. 3x squared over x squared plus 1 is a quadratic factor. x minus 1 squared is a repeated factor. So we're going to have a over oh, ax plus b, rather, which is a quadratic factor over x squared plus 1, plus uh, c over x minus 1, isn't it? And then plus a d over x minus 1 squared. There we go. That's what we've got. So that was a repeated factor, wasn't it? So more than one term, so I'm going to put a bracket straight away around here. Multiply by the denominator then and see what we got. So we've got 3x squared on the left is equal to uh, ax plus b, it will be, times by, uh, it will be x minus 1 squared, won't it? Plus c times by x squared plus 1. And one of the x minus ones will, will be left. And then plus d. And we'll just have the x squared plus 1, won't we? So that's what we've got then. So what's easy? If I put x as 1 in, I'll get d. So let's put x equals 1 in then, shall we? See what we get. x equals 1. 3 times 1 squared is 3. And then 1, that goes. 1, this goes. We just get 1 squared is 1. Plus 1 is 2, 2 lots of d. So d is 3 over 2. There we go, there's d done. Good. Now what's next easiest? Uh, what do you think? Why don't we just put naught in? And see what comes out, because the a will go. No, not too comfortable with that. We've got cubes. So if I, uh, we've got an A there. D is with X squared. Cubes. All right, let's put cubes in then, because it's the highest power, and it's often, it should come out, if not straight away, immediately after. So you get zero X cubes here. Here you're going to get an X squared times the A. You'll get the AX cubed comes from this one, doesn't it, in a sense. So you'll get A. The X cubed here. Again, it will come from this term, really. So you get c lots of x cubed here. And then you don't get any x cubes on this expansion here. So a plus c, or that implies a equals minus c. So that's fairly easy to piece together. All right? So that's that one. Now, I'm very tempted to put in naught x is naught, just to see what comes out, because that's fairly easy, so let's do that, x equals naught, so that doesn't require much thinking, so that'll be zero, it'll be minus one squared here, which is one, times b, which is b, and then this will be one in this bracket, this will be minus one, one times minus one is minus one, so you'll get minus c, and then here, you'll get plus d. Okay, that's that one then, which is we know d is 3 over 2, so we can get, you know, that's the next piece of information. So that implies, uh, um, what does it, well, I'll leave it like that for the moment. Now, uh, a, b, c, d. Now we looked at x cubed. What about x squared or x's? What do you think? What about the x squared or the x's or even another value of x? No, the x squared or the x's then? Which one would be easier? The x squared, I'm inclined to go for x squared actually. Okay, let's do x squared. Because we've got a d here, and that's easy to get. x squared is probably going to be easy coming from here. The only thing we've got to worry about is here, and we've got 3 there. So 3 on the left. Now here, x squared. This bracket is just x squared minus 2x plus 1. That's that what that bracket is. Right, so let's just write it here. That's this bracket here. Now, the a, the x squared from the... F if you think about it, there's three lines for the first term and three lines for the second. So the x squared will come from here. Minus 2a. Agreed? So that's minus 2a. 
And the other x squared will come from plus b, won't it, this line here, plus b. So that's that complicated thing catered for. Now the x squareds here get an x cubed minus x squared plus x minus 1. So the only x squared is minus x squared times c, so that would be minus c. And then there's a plus d here. Yuck! Probably the wrong choice in x squared. Maybe x might have been better, I don't know. Okay, so... Um, right, bit of a pain. So again, I'm going to do the x's just to see what that does, because I, I don't really want to mess around with this. So i got a few things. Oh, i got a b minus c, mind. i got a b minus c there. Well, that's, that's promising. So let's have a little look at that then. So here, this tells you that b minus c equals minus d, which is minus 3 over 2, yeah? And this one tells you that uh, 3 plus 2a minus d will equal b minus c. Agreed? And we know that b minus c is equal to minus 3 over 2. So straight away then, we know D, we should be able, we should be able to get A, and that everything falls apart after that. So uh, 2A, leave it there. We've got your minus 3 over 2, so I'll just write that there. And now I'm going to ignore this part of the equals and just look at the first and the last. And I've got uh, the 2A stays there. The D can come over and become plus D, which is 3 over 2. And then the 3 comes over to be minus 3. So 2a is minus 3. Yeah, so that tells us if 2a is minus 3, then that tells us that a equals minus 3 over 2. There's a. Minus 3 over 2. Okay, I think that's right. Let's just double check that just in case. 2a is there. I'm moving the d over there to be plus d, and d is equal to the value 3 over 2, so that goes in there. The minus 3 over 2 stays where it is, and so I've done that. The only thing that needs moving over again is the minus 3. These cancel to 0, so a is minus 3 over 2 is fine. Now, uh, c is minus a. a is minus 3 over 2, so c is 3 over 2. We get a lot of 3 over 2 slides. Oh, I've got, got that one then. And then, so b minus c now, so I can get b, will be c minus 3 over 2. So b is 0. Because so it's moved that over, you get c minus 3 over 2. 3 over 2 minus 3 over 2 is 0. b is 0. So there we are then. a, b, uh, c, and d all done. All seems to be 3 over 2 sliding around everywhere there. So there we are. That's number 20 done. That finishes this section. I think we've done partial fractions to death now. Um, I don't think you'll meet an awful lot of times that some of these problems are pretty hard. And I wouldn't imagine you'd meet too many partial fractions that appear to be in this form. But I'm, I'm pleased that we've done a lot of them. And hopefully we're fairly comfortable with working on this stuff now. So I'll see you in the next section then. Great.